Welcome back. So, to continue our lesson, ganun pa rin yung ating objective. Find the general formula or rule for the nth term of a sequence. Okay, so we're now on the third type of the sequence. If there is no same difference in a sequence, so anong ibig sabihin nito? Ito yung sequence na kung saan kahit nag-subtract ka ng una o ng pangalawa, wala siyang constant difference. Then, how to find the nth term of it? So, yung una, rewrite each term using a common number, B. Relate the terms on each number. So, let us record the example. 525, 125, and 625. So, mag-subtract ka. So, again, yung unang difference niya ay hindi pare-pareho. Second difference niya, hindi pa rin pare-pareho. So, therefore, you cannot use the linear equation or quadratic equation because yung nature na sequence na ito ay wala siyang constant difference. So, let us have the example. So, let us have now the example. So, the given sequence is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Now, you have to observe the pattern. I-re-relate mo yung bawat term to each other. So, ito ay nag increase By how many? Now, always remember yung n values mo. We have 1, 2, 3. Ito yung mga position. So, ano nangyayari sa first term? What will happen to second term? So, kailangan i-relate yung bawat term to one another. So, therefore, our a sub n is equal to n squared. Why? So, this sequence is a perfect square. Let us check. So, n is equal to 1. Ito yung ating first term. When you substitute the value of n to 1, so you will have a sub 1 is equal to 1 squared is equal to 1. So, yun ang ating first term. Next, n is equal to 2. Ito naman yung ating pangalawang term. So, a sub 2 is equal to 2 squared is equal to 4. So, you can see, yung second term natin is 4. Next, n is equal to 3. a sub 3 is equal to 3 squared is equal to 9. n, n is equal to 4. a sub 4 is equal to 4 squared is equal to 16. Okay, so this time, we have 1 fifth, 1 tenth, 1 over 15, 1 over 20, 1 over 25. Now, you have to relate again each term to one another. And you can observe that the numerator is constant. And that is 1. So, you have to copy the numerator 1. Then, what will happen to the denominator? Yung denominator natin, nakikita mo na 5, 10, 15, 20. So, nag increase siya. So, anong gagawin mo sa ating n values in the denominator? So, our answer is a sub n is equal to 1 over 5n. So, let us check. Again, yung numerator mo is constant. Just copy 1 for your numerator. Then, substitute, substitute mo yung value ng n mo. So, yung unang term mo, your n is 1. Then, 5 times 1. So, you can have 1 over 5. 
Now, for the second term, ganun pa rin. Your numerator mo is constant. That is 1. Then, yung denominator mo, 5 times 2. Nasa second term na tayo. Then, if you simplify, you have 1 over 10. So, and so on. Another example, we have 1, 8, 27, 64, 125. So, tatandaan natin yung n values natin, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yung unang term natin is 1. So, how can you relate 1 to the second term, which is 8? Then, how can you relate the second term to the third term? nag increase ba? By how many? Nagdodoble ba siya? Yung n values mo? Or nagtitriple ba siya? N? Our answer is A sub n is equal to n cubed. So, why? So, the sequence is a perfect cube. Example. Now, let us check. A sub 1 is equal to 1 cube. So, pa nag-multiply ka ng 1 cube, multiply the number 3 times by itself, your answer is 1. So, you have now the first term. Now, for the second term, A sub 2 is equal to 2 cube is equal to 8. So, again, 2 cube, multiply 2 3 times by itself, 2 times 2 times 2 to have 8. And so on. Okay, now it's your turn to answer. Okay, so thank you for watching.